age of 19, Hannah Zuffer was faced with an ultimatum. Accept an arranged marriage with her cousin in Pakistan or pursue her American dream. <laughs> to arrange marriages such as parents desire that by doing this they will ensure that their child stays in their religious beliefs. Since arranged marriages are chosen by family members, it seems that they are built on a set of more values and beliefs. It is said that similar belief systems are essential to successful relationships. You will also find equality in these types of marriages, not necessarily gender equality, but equality in the form of education, finances and world After an peace. unexpected engagement in Pakistan, Hanna, determined to escape, sought refuge with a Navy recruiter and later with a friend's family. When she joined the Air Force in 2022, she faced the challenges of boot camp and found strength in her newfound connections with her colleagues. In an exclusive account shared with People, 23-year-old Hamna Zafar reveals the extraordinary path she embarked on to prioritize her dreams over an arranged marriage set by her parents. Growing up in Maryland within an immigrant family, Zafar excelled academically and envisioned a conventional life post-college. However, her world took an unexpected turn during a family trip to Pakistan in 2019, where she discovered her engagement to her cousin. Determined to forge her own destiny and pursue the American dream, Zafar made the courageous decision to escape the impending marriage. Despite knowing that this choice would sever ties with her extended family and possibly strain her relationship with her parents, Zafar chose self-determination. Reflecting on her struggle, Zafar shares, I always thought about my parents. I always thought about my family. I always thought about my sisters. But that night I thought about me. This marked a pivotal moment in her life, as she embraced the difficult path of defying traditional expectations. Facing cultural clashes with her parents, who remained rooted in traditional values, Zafar found solace and support in unexpected quarters. A Navy recruiter played a crucial role in her escape plan, and a college friend's family offered her refuge, enabling her to pursue her education and eventually enlist in the U.S. Air Force in 2022. The transition to military life proved challenging for Zafar, as she navigated the unfamiliar terrain of boot camp. Accustomed to a supportive upbringing, the harsh training environment pushed her physical and mental limits. Zafar shares her struggle, stating, It was definitely an eye-opening experience. Your mind gives up before your body does. Despite the difficulties, Zafar found strength and camaraderie among her fellow airmen, her story resonated with colleagues, including Sergeant Robert Stewart, who emphasized the uniqueness of her journey and the resilience she displayed. Zafar's most poignant moment came when she graduated from basic training, yearning for her family's acknowledgement of her achievements. Regrettably, her attempts to reconnect with her family were met with silence, leaving her with the support of her newfound family, the Barrera Abarca household. As Zafar embraces her role as an Air Force security defender at Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico, she stands as a testament to the power of individual choice and the pursuit of one's aspirations. Despite the emotional challenges and estrangement from her family, Zafara remains determined to shape her own destiny and inspire others with her resilience. There are two types of arranged marriages. Semi-arranged is where the final decision is given to the potential bride and groom. Then there is a complete arranged marriage where the final decision is of the parents. They take into account factors such as wealth and the social standing of the families. How successful are arranged marriages exactly? In 2003, research showed that about 77% of complete arranged marriages were successful, 89% of semi-arranged marriages were successful, and about 60% of love marriages or the opposite of arranged marriages, where you get to choose your spouse, were successful. What exactly is the process of an arranged marriage? Arranged marriages in Pakistan often take extended periods of time to finalize. It could take more than a year. Family is very important in this process. Some weddings are postponed until important relatives are able to arrive for receptions. There are many different celebrations that go on at this time. Proposal parties, engagements, mar, mar, barat, and many other celebrations. The percent of arranged marriages is 63.4. Different parts of the region, however, have different percentages. For example, in Sindh, the percentage of arranged marriages is 88.5%. Despite attempts to reconnect, her family has not responded. 
Hannah's journey highlights the freedom to shape one's destiny in the United States. Subscribe and like it.